very long, thin strip of metal of width W carries a current I along this length as shown in figure P30.49. Find the magnetic field at the point P in the diagram. The point P is in the plane of the strip at distance P away from it. We're finding the magnetic field, is that correct? Okay. Magnetic field equals question mark at this particular point. It's long and thin, so we're just looking at a cross section of it, but it extends infinitely far that way, that way as well. It's just a small cross section. So, if we draw an Ampere loop, we can start with Ampere's law, closed. Uh, loop integral b dot ds equals mu naught times the current on the inside. Okay, uh, let's see. We know b is up, <coughs> ds is also up. Therefore, on the left hand side, we get b ds times the cosine of zero mu naught current on the inside. Uh, cosine of zero is uh, just one. Goes away. We have B is constant, so B times a co closed surface integral dS equals current mu naught I times current on the inside here. And so we get that B times uh, 2 pi times, let's say, B plus W over 2 is equal to mu naught times the current. Now, the current on the inside is just the current on this particular wire. And so the magnetic field equals mu naught I divided by 2 pi times b plus w over 2. The important thing to understand here is that that is not right. That that is the way most of you want to solve it. But you cannot solve it this way, and you need to understand why. There are two mistakes in what I've done here. Is that a j uh, this is a 2 pi times the quantity no, B uh, plus W uh, over E2J. E2 pi. Oh, pi. No, 2 pi. Oh, okay. Just two, 2 pi R, 2 times the, the circumference there. There are two mistakes in what I've done. Zilla. I don't think the field is constant on the point because it's like a rectangle. Number one, I cannot do from this step to this step because the magnetic field is not constant. Because, as you said, this is not a, a point, if you will. It, it has shape. So this, if we were to draw a circle, the magnetic field is not going to be constant on that whole thing. What is the other mistake? Yeah? Um, the current is uh, not. Actually, the current would be, because it's to be, be the current inside the Ampere loop, so it would be the total current on the wire whatever that happens to be trapped. So the radius would be G. The radius would not be constant, right? At this particular point, the radius would be B plus W over 2. At this particular point, it would just be B, I guess, if, assuming it depends how we draw the circle. But it's not going to be. This is not correct. This is not constant. So that doesn't work. So let's talk about how we can do it. We have to look at this as small pieces. We have this guy right here. We need to break it up into a little piece here, which we call di, which has a width, dr. And we have already figured out that the magnetic field caused by a current carrying wire is equal to uh, mu naught times the current divided by 2 pi r. So dv is going to be equal to mu naught times di divided by 2 pi r, where r is the distance from uh, di to the point we're talking about, point p, all the way over here, which we've defined as b. OK. So we have to take the integral. We're going to get b is equal to the integral of mu naught i over 2, or 2 di over 2 pi r. But we have an issue. 
because we have this integral with respect to i and we have r. So we need a relationship between i and r. So let's take a look at current over w. The current divided by the width. Well, the current divided by the width is going to be equal to di divided by dr. Because it is going to be, if you look at it, if you take the whole current divided by the width, that's going to be the same thing as di divided by dr. In other words, di is equal to current divided by the width multiplied by dr. So I can substitute in for uh, di into this equation, we get the integral of mu naught time over 2 pi r times i over w dr. OK, we need to work with that integral. We need limits. We need to know what we can take out from the integral uh, left. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the question is, is the current the same no matter which dr we pick? Right? Because it's the same, but it's going to be the same current throughout. So we can take the current out. So what we end up with is mu naught times i divided by 2 pi w times the integral of 1 over r dr. We don't have limits yet. So from b plus w to b. b plus w to b. I would actually go the reverse from b to b plus w. Integral class of 1 over r? Natural log. Thank you, class. Natural log of r from b to b plus w. Uh, so we have mu naught times i 2 pi w, natural log of b plus w minus the natural log of b, or mu naught i times the natural log of b plus w over b. All of this divided by 2 pi w. Yeah. Is your lower limit just w? Say that again? Is your lower limit just w or the, the lower, so we're going from, we have, from here, right, this is little dr, right? So initially, it, our initial distance is b, and then our final distance is going to be b plus w. Direction of the magnetic field. Point. When you get it, point. I should see a lot of right hands. A lot of pointing at this point. Thumb points in the direction of the current. Fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field. That means at this point, that magnetic field 